Yeah, you don't have to switch if yeah, you don't have any fucking, wins. Yeah, I know, shut up. You ready? Yeah. Welcome back to Ninja TV. Please, Super Smash Bros. My life feature myself, Spencer, my co-host, Matt. I'm playing as Marth. Matt's playing as Falco. We're here live on Twitch.tv slash Gaming TV. Yeah, that was sick. They also had it. Um, they had another stats program in Smash Summit 4. That stats program was amazing. Yeah, they built up my expectations with, with Smash Summit 4 when it comes to the stats that they had. Yeah, they didn't have any stats this year. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I was really wanting to have... I mean, I, I know it's probably difficult to put it all together, but it's so nice. I can't believe my crab's ledge. I'm crazy. Nice. That was a good back air. That was a good back air, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'm a stat stirred. I mean, I enjoyed the stats, but I'm not a snap. Like, a, I'm like, I play a lot by feeling. That makes sense. Where I'm like, like well, I have a pretty good win rate on every stage. I also feel like uh, you might not be like so technical about the stats, right? But I also feel like you kind of know. You kind of know your stats. You, you're, you're always aware of your current like situation, as mm -hmm. far as like how your what your standing is. I feel like yeah. just like being a, like aware, self aware of like your own capabilities is like what helps that out. Kind of uh, mitigates the the need for for your own stats. Feeling has so much room for human error. Well, I mean, it's not the feeling is like a bad word for it. Um, like I kind of just like internalize what percents I should be doing moves. I like internalize all that. Yeah. So it's it's easy. Oh, dude, I would have teched that. Um, like I was prepared for it. <laughs> um, like that right there. That's a good example. Like. The the teching of the up B, I missed the tech, but I was like, if he hits me with his up B, I'm gonna tech it. Like, yeah, you're always ready. Like, I didn't know if it was gonna work, but I was like, I've seen people do it, and I'm like, it should work if I do it right. I didn't do it right, but it was just like a feeling. I'm like, yeah, this might work, if that makes sense. That's yeah, more experience and feeling. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes a uh, that, yeah, that's a much better word. Oh god. Oh, that you should have killed me. I'm talking more about running into false positives or Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's Spencer. Yeah, that's my issue. What I mean by like having a hard time keep my head um like active in the game cuz I'll just autopilot into a bunch of like oh yeah, this worked once. I'll just keep doing it. Yeah, Spencer has this thing where if something works one time, that's like his strat. And it takes him forever to unlearn that. <laughs> or just to realize that it's just, uh, it's very situational and not likely to happen. Oh my god, no. Missing the regrab. I didn't uh, d do that right.
And you notice know, he's a ton, but that's because I can just I, I can dissect the stats. Yeah. That was a 95% combo. There's a joke in there about a 95% combo not being 100% a combo, but I can't find it. Would have been a 100% combo if you finished it. <laughs> there you go. Players may think they're amazing at Wukong because they have 100 games to zip 70 cent ratio. However, their overall win ratio is at, at 50%. Mm hmm. Which is, does like a forced dichotomy. I guess, maybe, if that's the right word. It's definitely misleading. So, see, I, I guess what you're saying is when they play Wukong, they feel like they do well. And they just look at their Wukong only stats, not realizing that they need to be looking at their overall game only stats, because that's, that's what really judges whether or not they're actually good at the game. Wanted to dance up now. Oh, you like grab my foot. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, you should have suicide dared. Oh, I fucking, yeah. I see, I never think of that type of stuff until it's too late. Nice. Uh, as that means you maintain a high win ratio while climbing, which is very impressive, it would lead me to believe that they will continue to climb for some time. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, I think honestly, I think that's your biggest problem, Spencer, is the, what he was talking about earlier. The Oh, going after false positives? Yeah. Well, that's why like, I've shifted gears recently, and I've been trying to just be like, hey, like, what am I supposed to do here? Because like, I'm going after this one thing, and obviously it's not working, you know? And it's hard for me to know sometimes what's the, what's the appropriate action. Oh. Darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again We need to have a an option that makes the whole screen black and white. Yeah. Mess that up. No, she's not doing that side either. Yeah. We're in the opposite as well. If you happen to only play a certain champion. Give your natural ELO, ELO uh, Bob and Weave, you may make worse a champion than you actually are. Oh, you should have done an up air instead of a back air there. Would have covered. Gotcha. Would have covered my side B.
Oh, why did I roll? I thought you were uh, closer. God damn it, my fucking regrets are bad today. Implying that they're ever good. Oh no, my dash didn't work. real bad on that one. You may think you're horrible at Oriana, but when in reality you're playing at a higher ELO than your other champions. These are things that often slip through their cracks and why some people dismiss stats because they don't know how to dissect them properly. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant earlier when I was talking about how, uh, you know, if, if Anther's letter had stats, um, you know, not, not a lot of people know how to read them. You know, they wouldn't know, which is I feel like why it's, it's lower on people's list because they don't think it's... Like, they don't think that it would be useful, useful to them because they don't know how to... Apply the information. Shit. Shit. Should not have rolled in. Should not have rolled in. Why do you always roll in? And then they think it's the stats fault. <laughs> what the fuck? Stats don't lie. Stats are just the result of the situation. Yeah. the jump. That's where the coaches come in. Nice. I always get like some crazy pillar combos on the stage. Which is why I don't understand why you don't like the stage. It messes up my lasers. Don't focus on lasers. Focus on like pillar combos. Yeah, but I like lasers. Should have known by the way you're just crouching there, you're just gonna down smash me. Yeah. I hate how you can just kick right through that platform at that height. Messes me up. I don't know if that helped help you or helped me. Oh shit. Oh shit, now I'm fucked. Ah, oh, larka darker. Or a program that helps you with that kind of information. They both they have both for league, a whole market. Melee doesn't have. Getting hit by direct attacks from the air is also my trigger. <laughs> yep. I have a theory that, uh, based on how much Matt actually has moved his down air off stage, that, that Falco's down there is like, the hitbox is actually like, any, like any, if you just draw a line, like perpendicular with his body, in the bottom of his foot, all the way across, like, the, the, the viewable stage, he'll hit you. Why do you always do that? Uh, I, I, I keep expecting you to, like, jump or something like that.
Spence, you should rewatch that last stock. You had at least three chances on stage. Well, it's episode five, about 15 minutes in. So I know we're, at least I know the, the time count for it. Yeah, I got you. Oh, no, I was thinking there. Yeah, why roll in, you dumbass motherfucker? Mad says to himself in a rage. I'm gonna call you Flacco until you fucking don't roll in. That was pretty well played. took me on my jump by Spencer or by oh what did I, I didn't want to do that Spence juggled you on the left side. Oh. Yeah, Reading that I killed have. me. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look at that too. Net play sesh. Uh, um, we'll have time to try out our connection. Yeah, yeah, we'll have time. Uh, we're at fact usually a couple hours. We're almost done. Yeah, we're on episode five of our of our YouTube stuff, and we'll do one like quick like fun weekend video, and then we'll be on to net play. So I would say probably like 30, 40 minutes, just because we have another like six minutes or so on this, and then our, depending on what we do, could take us about twenty to thirty minutes on the weekend video. Me out of my fucking roll. Shit. 
shit! I couldn't shield drop. <laughs> Ah, uh, the tables have turned. Oh, shit, no. No, not a good back air. Oh, I went to jump off and back, back air myself, but... And instead, I just walk forward and forward smash like a dummy. That was crazy. Crazy, I, I, v I, I v canceled it and teched it. Like, the button uh, press kind of, like, covered both. I think happens in this game. You have like a 10 frame window to, to buffer a tech. Is that what it is? It's like 25, I think. Really? 25 frames? It's pretty long. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I got spaghetti. Uh, one more? Yeah. That, that forward air does not push you enough to be useful like that. Why? It, 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 it's so easy. It's just like, it's so easy to be like, yeah, Matt's going to roll in because he's a dumbass. Corn, he's still here. He's watching. I don't know why I did that. Just stayed and just um, um, countered. Oh no! <sighs> the lag was so long I couldn't jump out of it. I should have tried to di better, I guess. I mean, five three—that's pretty good. Yeah. Any thoughts specifically about the matchup? Um, no. I mean, you still do this thing where you'll throw me towards the ledge and then immediately forward smash, which is stupid. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just seeing a situation that's not there. You know. I feel bad sometimes because, like, I, I have a hard time thinking about stuff that you had done, you know? Mm-hmm. You always, like, you know, get, tell me how I'm doing. See how when you ended that game, you talked about how you weren't able to survive the dare? Oh, yeah, because you were in hit, hit lag? Yeah, I was in hit lag because I, oh, 
I was saying that I couldn't jump, and that's what I was trying to do, yeah. but, but the hit lag prevented me from jumping. Curry, yeah. Spencer's really good at getting grabs, but not getting anything off. Yeah, Matt tells me that all the time. Like, he'll get, like, he should be able to kill off a grab, basically. Most of the time. Like, okay, so, if you remember at all what I did, what should have been my option there? Because did I, like, I threw you towards the, le the ledge? I'm not sure. I just mean, I feel like how that opening started should be your first thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the way I look at a lot of situations. Yeah, I have a hard time. It, I think it's it stems from uh, sometimes I'll go for something without having a, a plan on like where I'm going to be going next. So I'll get a grab, and I'm not I'm not thinking when I get this grab I'm going to do this. It's like I'm going to get a grab, and we'll see. Yeah. So was, I'm, I'm really good at getting grabs, but I'm I'm terrible at converting because I I'm like I, I don't have a plan. Mm. You threw him at zero into the platform and, and tried, tried to, to up tilt. tilt. What stage was that? I don't remember what stage it was. It was on Yoshi's. Was that on Yoshi's? Yeah. At least... Oh, yeah. Okay. I threw him on the platform. I, I, I hit you with one up tilt, and then you rolled or something like that, or like landed, and then like you just got away. Yeah. But you kind of delayed it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it, I think that has to because I just don't have a plan. I'm, I'm I'm thinking about what I'm doing next instead of just following up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because that should be an automatic follow up. Yeah, I and mean, it's not it, automatic. Like, uh, like you have a lot of time to read the which way I'm going to tech if I tech it at all. Yeah. Um. And on Yoshi's, you should be able to, like if you're at the middle of the platform, like you can pretty much cover. There was a everything. A little area where I was I was hitting you a lot, but I wasn't converting out of that. Mm -hmm. But now it's like I've like gone back. I've like taken steps back where I can't like I'm not sure if you've gotten better at mixing up your rolls or if I've just I've like. I mean, do you see how many times I tech rolled in? That's true. <laughs> um, next, not about how the situation should be where you ended up after the exchange. You always want to end with end with stage. Yeah, you were at zero percent, so I think I might have been trying too hard to do like a bread and butter thing. Like, okay, I throw him up now. I just do up, 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 up till. Okay, where is he going? Yeah, at like zero percent, I have more options. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess instead, like, if I do hit you, or maybe I should, maybe I should do like a fade back forward, air instead of the up tilt to, to like push you. Mm-hmm. Or even uh, maybe hit you once, but then um, wave land onto the platform to get a grab. Yeah, that's. I think you. That's. I, I thank you. I thank you, kind sir. Uh, I think that's what Mewtwo King would have done. Yeah, is he doesn't grab the other grab. Yeah, went up there and grabbed yeah. instead of. I might have to practice that. Where he as a classic. Yeah, I never think of it because I there's certain things where I don't like if if I don't do them enough, I don't have co the confidence to just toss it out there, and so then I don't even try to do it, and I feel like that's a detriment. Would be uh, to, forward throw regrab. Yeah, yeah. Low percent. At zero percent, you can it's a you can guarantee a two forward throws and then down tilt to the ledge and then that's like pretty good. Hard to deal with. Yeah, and I've done that in the past, like the the, the forward throw regrab. And and when I when, when I'm like playing a, on a day where I have okay grabs, um, and regrabs, I can do that. But then I still have the same problem where like after that, like what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah. 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 Your attack idea would be a, a pummel and down throw buffer. You either have to wave land or build some percent. Yeah. I mean, it's all it's all good points. Uh, yeah, thanks for pointing that out because like I I'd kind of forgotten like about the situation. Uh, this that type of stuff just leaves my mind. All right, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with your friends. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Be sure to check us out live on Twitch.tv/NanoThorGamingTV. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.